Here we're looking at my version of problem number 20 from the web work probability homework section. Notice what we're looking at. We're looking at a collection of thermometers. They tell us that all the measurements on those thermometers are normally distributed with a mean of zero degrees and a standard deviation of, uh, of one degree. So a mean of zero, standard deviation of one, that means it's not only normally distributed, but it's a normal but it's a standard normal distribution. That's, that's nice. We can handle other things as well, but that's, that's nice. Now look at, at what they tell us. 8% of the thermometers are rejected, and the reason they're rejected is because they have readings that are too high. So there's some measurement above zero. The, the thermometers have a reading that are they're bigger than that, and if they are, they get rejected, and 8% of them get rejected. But uh, all the other th thermometers are acceptable, and we want to know what that rejection region is. So here's what we're going to do. I've, I've uh, tried to sketch that uh, standard normal distribution here so that we can look at it. There, it's kind of a rough sketch, obviously, but there's the normal curve. I know that the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. And there's some number right here. That's the number that I'm looking for. I'm looking for that number so that 8% of the population is above that number because I know that 8% of them uh, are rejected. Okay, the great thing is that R has a terrific function. Let me tell you about that function. It's called the Q-norm function. Q norm stands for quantile norm. And what it's saying is this. In, in our problem, here's what we need to be looking at. Let me uh, just change this uh, picture a little bit. If we know some area below some particular point, and we're trying to find what that point is, so I'm trying to color in this area down here, okay? If we knew that brown area, then we could find this quantile. The quantile is the, is the score that has that percentage below it. Well, we know that above it is 0 0.08, and the area underneath the distribution curve is 1. So this area down here is going to be equal to 1... Some, this is going to be a 1 minus 0 0.08. I believe that that amount is a uh, 0 0.92. 1 minus 0 0.08. Okay, now we can do that in, in R. We can just ask for the Q norm. Tell us the quantile in a normal distribution where the area to the left is 1 minus 0 0.08. Now, I could have written 0 0.92 there, of course, but I might as well let uh, R do the calculation for me in a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. That's the syntax for the Q-norm function. So there's the amount that I'm looking for right there. Okay. Now, it's going to be handy just to take that and copy that amount and paste it into here. Okay, so there it is. Let's check our answer. And there's the answer. And the whole reason is because of this drawing and what Q norm does. Q norm, if you know the area below some particular quantile, you can find that quantile by just doing the Q norm of that, uh, of that 0.92 uh, and tell it what the mean and the standard deviation is. Okay that helps.